Good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm ready for part number two. Yeah. Richmond, hey. Richmond stands in waiting for me. Well, we are officially back. This is part two. If you've not yet watched part number one of uh, On to Richmond, scenario number three, The Gates of Richmond, we... Uh, Prudently, I believe, prudently decided to break this into smaller pieces, which was a joy to edit the first part. Uh, hopefully we will do something comparable tonight. I guess we spend two, two and a half hours. Maybe we get turns four and five out of the way at the very least. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we are starting right here at turn number four. This is the beginning. We have not even done anything. So this is the board state uh, with only some small modifications. And I want to thank... Everyone who uh, chimed in uh, per our call for uh, for comments on the the first video, um, so our usual gang Holger and uh, Phil and some of the others all chimed in, and Holger did point out, <laughs> uh, or at least he drew my attention to uh, an oversight, uh, both on a couple of things. One, I have added Mayo's or the Manchester portion of Richmond. Uh, there seems to be a slight conflict in the old 1998 rules, and maybe uh, we will we will tell Joe and Chris to to clarify this in the uh, in the new version. But the uh, one part of it says seven Richmond hexes, and lo, there are seven Richmond city hexes there. But then in the victory point schedule, it says uh, including 0628. So there are actually eight Richmond hexes potentially that uh, you can get 10 points oh, each for. Okay. Uh, yes, so that's, uh, I obviously read one part, and that's when I did the seven, and then uh, Holger pointed out, and sure enough, there it says, o including 0628 in another section, <laughs> so uh, yeah. we will we will get that fixed, I think, for the future. Uh, the other big thing was uh, we had, we made poor Huger work, uh, I think, one extra turn more than he needed to, uh, because as soon as Franklin got into those readouts up there within three hexes of Richmond. Every, basically everybody uh, southwest of the James there is immediately released along with all the Richmond defenses. So uh, so I went ahead and removed those uh, not released markers and I took the liberty. Uh, you had pointed out to me that uh, even, <laughs> even after our discussion, you had retreated the 59th Virginia southward onto the south mat, which I didn't even notice. I mean, I did notice at the time, but, you know, of course, in the heat of battle, I just, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Goodbye, 59th well, Virginia. So well, I followed the road. That's right. The retreat road, that's right. And I was watching the video, and I said, oh, yep. that's not right. And I watched it several times to see that I could do what you did. Right. That was, I was afraid I was going to lose a manpower, but no. No, I no, yeah. Walton well, Farm and then yeah, and go right across the bridge. The bridge so. yeah. And then, and subsequently, when Ripley came across, since he's only a one combat value, it, it caused no impediment to, to yeah. his movement. So uh, that, I think, uh, I took the liberty of putting him there, but you could certainly go an additional two if you want to get him completely out of the way um, at that time retroactively. But uh, those were the only changes that... Uh, that I think we needed, or that at least were pointed out to us, uh, or that we found each other. Um, otherwise, what do you think as we start turn four? Have you been frantically making notes of priorities? Kind of. Um, I do have a couple quick rules questions. Good. I believe uh, Slocum, who's any Confederate readout, cannot take advantage of the Confederate readout you, in the, according to the rules. You rules. are correct, and you are a mind reader, because literally two minutes before <laughs> two minutes before we started recording tonight, I picked up my rule book and I was like, "All right, readouts, readouts, readouts," and I knew, I knew in my heart, but I was just, I was just hoping that maybe, and then sure enough, Union gets no benefit from printed readouts. And I was like, "Oh," and I, I for, for this, for this. Campaign. Right, right. You do it for the battles above the clouds. That is right, right. Uh, yeah, well, because they're around Chattanooga, and the, you know, you figure those are Union redoubts and everything around there too. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, these are these are conf they obviously the the redoubts know and recognize only the Confederate forces can use them. The other question, and I'm going to move 59th Virginia just one hex, okay. and let's say hypothetically, and this is. To me, a little confusing. Um, let's say Hooker, he has the initiative, and you move him one hex to Wilton Farm. Yes. And he decides he wants to destroy this bridge. Mm -hmm. 
I was looking at permanent Okay, bridges. this is not a permanent um, bridge, yeah. so this is a pontoon. Um, enemy units may not cross across that bridge, yada, yada, yada. Dismantling. If if at any time during a march, an active unit occupies one of the two hexes connected by a non-enemy pontoon bridge... Okay, you could dismantle it. All right. The bridge remains on the map until an enemy unit with a combat value of five or more ends a march, retreat, or advance after combat in one of the two hexes connected by the bridge. At that time, the bridge marker is automatically removed. So, that is the difference. Basically, we just, you know, we pull up the 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 moorings for the pontoons and we let them just float downstream. So, basically, all ha Hooker so, has to do is just go into Wilton Farm and I will destroy that bridge. Okay. Yeah. You might do that. Ah, uh, well, the thought, <laughs> the thought had crossed my mind. Forced me to go all the way up to Richmond. I could, to... I could, so... Uh, I, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, I have not been so set in my ways to to attempt to do a priority list tonight. I figured, you know, turn four, as soon as I make a list, it's going to rain or whatever. So, yeah, that's, I'm I just going to go with the I don't flow. Have a priority list. Right. I, I think if, uh, you know, if we go back and forth with the initiatives, it's going to be whoever is doing it. Right, um, right. If one of us gets on a roll with the initiatives, some interesting. They sure could. So, it sure could. Because um, this is really wide open right now. I think so. <laughs> there are so many units that are completely maneuverable right now and in play that uh, this could go a lot of different ways. Uh, and that's concerning, of course. How far is that brash young McClellan willing to take his forces? That's right. <laughs> in this alternate universe, apparently. Um, okay, so why don't you go ahead and give us the uh, random event and see if it's raining today. Two dice, random event. Oh it's two, boy, it's raining. It's rain. It is raining. Wow. Okay. Okay, well that's... There you go. Does Johnson still want rain today? I think he does. I don't think it hurts. It does, it does not hurt. Uh, so we are on turn number four, and it is raining today. And I'll go ahead and move our major and minor rivers... It's unfordable today. So, hey, I've got a bridge, and we've crossed it already. So, hurrah! <laughs> um, okay, let's talk about leader transfers, then. Um, Heinzelman is good where he is. Sumner is good where he is. Keys, Erasmus Keys is good where he is. Uh, Porter's with his whole stack. And Franklin can't even get to the units that he wants to to help, so I have no leader transfers, apparently. Okay, Johnson just has to be with... Yeah, I'm going to move Johnson to Garland. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. In turn. All right. Well, then you have given us the, uh, the random event roll, so I will give us the first initiative. Here we go. And as always, good luck. And good luck to you as well. It is yours to start. It's amazing how Marine changes everything. Let's activate, uh, I lost Huger because I think he got, he's on the, so I'm going to activate Huger. Um, here's his movement. It's a three. Okay, I'm going to move him all the way. Teague. He can only go, he can do, no, he can't cross the creek, so he's going to have to go here. One, two. Okay. Initiative. It's yours. Okay. Well, that, uh, that certainly does present an interesting... We will uh, we'll try to move... McDowell will activate the first core and get them going. So we will activate all three in range. And here is their march of minimum two. It's a four. So McCall goes two, four. McDowell goes two, four. And King goes to four. And next initiative. It's yours. Uber again. Here's his movement. Three again. She's just gonna go right there. Initiative. Mine. Well, I'm taking T three. Here's his movement. Extended march. He's fine. So he's finally got all in the Wilton's farm. Boo, I say. Man, he's living up to his reputation, <laughs> isn't he? Um, okay, so I got a tie initiative. Um, Longstreet's going to activate. 
Pickett and Anderson. Here's their movement. It's a five. So Anderson's going to go two, four, six. Pickett, if Longstreet's going to go two, four. Initiative. It's mine again. Well, Dave Chill's going to activate roads. There's his movement. It's two. He's just going to do a min move to there. Initiative. Mine again. Ba -ba -boom. I'm getting my piece of paper and pencil ready. <laughs> Get my combat chart out here. Probably looks either way, depending on whoever does it. It's going to be in minus one on artillery. Yeah, it's a minus one on artillery. And one of the things I did this weekend is I studied the combat table. Mm -hmm. Good. You've been making that comment a lot. <laughs> and so now I'm looking at the difference between an 11 versus a 15, right. and it's not much difference, really. Well, um, I have a 12, so if it's the difference between yeah, covering ratio. the ratio or not covering the ratio, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, uh, so I want to cover the ratio, I think, so I will attempt an assault with Longstreet. And I'm just happy that I have an escape route either way by road that <laughs> will not cause undue yeah, harm. Yeah. yeah, either way you have an escape route, and that's the other thing I was looking at, which do I care which way you go, and I'm going to have a minus one because of rain, so I'm just going to do Longstreet. Um, here's his roll. It's a four, so it does come off. Okay. So uh, the ratio is zero. Uh, the type is a plus one. That's right. Uh, tactical is a plus one. Uh, the flank is a straight up plus four. That's right. Uh, we have rain, so that's a minus one. Okay. Uh, there is no terrain, but as you and the, you are in, looks like Ro uh, rolling. Uh, rolling terrain, so it's a minus one for artillery by design. That's right. You know, die roll required. So I have uh, six up and two down for final of a plus four. Plus four. The the nature of the flank. Look at that. Because I have all the flanks covered and there's no restricted zock or anything right. like that. That's right. So, plus four assault in the rain. There we go. Good job. Look at that. Plus six. So seven plus six. What is that kind of damage does that do? For me, plus six on a 12 is 3DR. Wow. I need someone takes one. Okay, so. I'm adding three... See, I'm at 8 right now, so going to 11 manpower losses. All right, so Heinzelman must route away four hexes. And I think, uh, let's see, I think he can just do, so here's his highest priority right there, and then there. And if he goes to Hooker, he won't have a fourth step, so it seems like I think he has to follow this to here, and then... Uh, up to there. What say you to that? Oh yeah, we don't have the south map. Um, exactly. So uh, and, and I don't go to blacksmith either because that yeah right yeah I think that's it I guess. Okay, I you know because I wanted to check to see if uh, if he's completely boxed in if he would just be eliminated, but I I don't think that's the case. I mean the lowest priority still would take him up that way, and he and since it's long roads. Uh, and away from Long Street, it seems like it avoids any manpower losses. Um, so, yeah, uh, I will I that. will go with that. I think for the moment, uh, and if, if somebody is sitting there watching this, just screaming <laughs> that that is an expert on routes and retreats, uh, I always find that I'm being corrected because I presume <laughs> something, and then the interpretation is is clearly wrong. So if uh, this is your opportunity to chime in on those comments down below. But the Long Street, I think, has the option to advance now, if you'd like. Um, yes, he does. And yes, he will. So I think that was a very, very good attack in the rain. Um, I mean, this is this is a game of initiative, and that initiative was just all Confederate right there. That was amazing. Yeah, I I, I felt going into tonight uh, or today's game would be initiative based. Right. Um, Initiative roll comes to the initiative. It's mine again. Let's take roads. Here's his movement. 
three. He's just going to go one hex to their initiative. It's mine again. Well, I just, uh, I'm in a bad spot here. <laughs> I've not um, gotten the initiative yet, except for one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this has been, yeah, this has worked out pretty well for me, uh, despite the fact that it's raining. But I do have a question. Um, now, looking at what I've got, I've got all the hexes covered, but my math says the, or my understanding is the James River hex, or Lee, is that's going to come off. Mm hmm. And then the Negro house will also come off Correct. because of the creek. Right. So this would be a plus two. And I have no artillery because I am demoralized. So oh, you have no artillery. Correct. Okay. Um, yeah, let's give it a go then. Um, so he's going to go to T Orange. It's command roll. <laughs> this is command roll. And it comes off. Okay. So we have the ratio is a zero. Uh, type is a plus one. Tactical is a plus one. Uh, flank is a plus two. Because right. as we discussed, the, the, I've got all the hexes covered, mm -hmm. but I don't, uh, the, where the lee landing is comes off because it's across the river. And the negro house comes off because it is across the creek in a rain turn. Correct. And so I've got plus one tack, plus whoa, flank, plus two. And finally, it's a rain turn for minus one. So it's going to be four up and one down for a final of a plus three. That sounds right to me. Okay, let's see if I can smack Heinsohn around a little more. <laughs> uh, third on the right. And it's a plus Two results. Plus two result. Okay. So what does that do? Plus two attacker. It's eleven. It's a Get a one da. One da for me. And uh, one dr for me. So it's an exchange. But uh, Heinzelman is definitely done for the day. So he will increase to there. And take power loss. And you do have a retreat option to the south. I do. All right, so we each take a loss there. Um, and that disorganizes Hill, too. So that's helpful for the future. Um, yeah, so they will go uh, one to there. And then they can go freely across into there with no problem. And I think for safety's sake, I better... Just retired to Chaffin's Bluff since they've already got camp set up there. I can advance if I want to. You can. I don't think I will. I think I'm going to leave him there. Initiative. It's mine again. Now, one thing I did look at today was I forgot that these rivers are going to continue to be unfordable tomorrow, regardless of whether it rains or not. Right, right. I'm going to activate Ripley. Here's his movement. Three. He can just do one, two, initiative, chores. Hey! Now yeah, let's play. <laughs> okay, <one> thanks. <laughs> thanks, thanks, fan. Yeah, we're going to activate Slocum to fatigue level one. Here's his movement. That's not really a matter to me because he's going to place a flanks refused marker there. Uh, because Ewell is threatening still. Because there is a railroad across that creek. Um, all right, initiative. It's mine again. Sumner will activate Richardson and Sedgwick. And here's their march. That's a pretty good march. Okay. Um, so he'll go uh, one and a half, three, five. I'll go two, three and a half, and five and a half. Okay, initiative. Chores. Activate Ripley again. Trying to get in the position here. Help out Sun. This is movement. It's five. You can go two. Oh, is that Pike? That is Pike, yeah, so. 
So you can go one half, three, you can get to there. Mm -hmm. Okay, initiative. Mine again. Gonna activate. Pick up with long street. So this is movement. This is seven. This is extended march. He's okay. So you have seven for movement. So that's gonna be one and a half, three and a half, five and a half. Yeah. He's there. He's there. Okay. Initiative. Mine again. Golly gee. Golly gee, Wilkers, Batman. We'll activate Jewel. Movement. It's a five. He's just going to do a mini move to there. Initiative. Mine again. Golly. Move you again. Where's his movement? Six. Extended march. So one. So he's okay. He's going to do such. Minu to there. Initiative. It's mine again. He'll activate branch. There's his movement. Two. Popping two. So he'll go one there. Initiative. Mine again. We'll do branch one more time. Two. Parking Meadows Bridge. Initiative. Yours. All right. Sumner will activate the second core again, and here's their movement. Five. Sumner goes two, and Sedgwick will just go min one to there. Yeah, because that's four, and he wouldn't have enough to go any farther, so that's good. Initiative. It's yours. We'll activate Walker. Here's his movement. Min two, two, two. Initiative. Yours. McDowell will activate Ricketts and King. Here's their march. Four, two, four, two, four. Initiative. It's yours again. Walker again. It says movement. So one X. Up the road he goes. Petersburg Pike. Initiative. Mine again. We'll do Armstead this time. Now on the on that he could have gone two up that pike if you wanted. Oh, that's a pike also. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So he okay. I'll, yeah. I, yeah. I'm moving him up the road there. So okay. Thank you. Sure. Uh, Armstead five. Okay. So he's going to go two, three and a half, five. We, we love this game because it, it helps us with our basic arithmetic. Yeah, no kidding. Using fractions. Um, initiative. Mine again. Go. Okay, well, we'll do Armstead again. Here's his movement. It's a six. So this is going to be two and a half. Half to three plus one is four. One and a half to five and a half. Initiative. Mine again. I'm going to ruin the day. I'm getting all these initiatives. I know it. I'm going to activate Anderson. There's his movement. Popping two. One crew. Mm, yeah, one and a half. Initiative. It's yours. Porter activates. Excuse me, not Morel. I'm saying, sorry, Sykes. Sykes is the one that I. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um, Sykes is extended march. Plus one. Of course. Move them. To there. And initiative. It's mine again. Now I can activate one. Um, or Sumner will activate Sedgwick. Go just the three. Here's their march. So it's a four. Extended march plus one. Okay, so two, three and a half. That is all. Initiative. It's mine again. Warren will march. Here's the movement. Five, so they'll go two and four. Initiative. It's yours. Then I have to pick Anderson. Here's his movement. Six. 
Here it says extended march. It's five. So he's okay. So that's going to be one and a half, three and a half, five and a half. Initiative. It's yours. Uh, we'll move Warren again. Here's the movement. Six, two, four, six. Initiative. Mine again. Uh, we'll take Warren to three. Here's your movement. Yeah, it's just one. Okay. Extended march plus one. He's okay. So he will just move to Black Creek Church. Initiative. Mine again. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass also. Okay. So recovering rain. And that is all of that. Turn indication phase now. Uh, so, major and minor rivers, just put this as a reminder that they're still unavailable. Um, you've got everybody, right? Or do you still have more reinforcements? I think that's all of mine. I think you still have a I still potential. Have a... <laughs> Come on, shields! Uh, so, here's shields on a one. And no, shields is still wrapped up in the valley. For the Phantom Jackson... All right, turn five. Turn five is upon us. Major and minor rivers are still unfordable for this turn. Possibly have rain again. Let's find out. Uh, I think you did the last rain roll, so... I did. Here is, uh, here is the rain attempt, or not attempt. And it's a four. A four is no effect in May. Okay, so no rain today. Leader transfers... I'm going to move McDowell over to McCall, and I think that's all, because I like Sumner with Richardson. So, yeah, just just that one for me. Got my units kind of scattered all over. I guess I'm going to leave everybody where they are. Okay, well. Now, the creeks are now creeks back are to normal? Yeah, creeks are normal. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's just major and minor rivers. Okay. So why don't you give us the first initiative, turn five. Okay, here we go. Initiative. It's yours. Lordy B. <laughs> yeah, I expect I'll pay for all those initiatives last time. All right. Um, Porter will activate everybody underneath him. So the two artillery pieces and morale. Um, here's their march. It is a minimum two. We need a three. I get it too, because that is the way of all things. All right, so we'll send the horse artillery next door, and we'll send that artillery to there, and they will follow along. All right, initiative. It's yours. I'll activate Anderson. So here's a min move of two. It's a six. So he's going to go one. The railroad bridge is not destroyed, is it? No, it's two. not. Three, four, five, six. We got we got Anderson deep in the flanks, going for White House Landing. That's not good. White House Station. So yeah, you're um, you're you're definitely playing the uh, the flanks game here. Good on you. I've learned from somebody. Well, yeah, but it always ends poorly for me. So I'm hopefully. <laughs> well, this gonna... might end poorly for me as well. So. <laughs> All right, uh, give us the next initiative. Oh, right. Uh, initiative, it's yours. Activate the 3-8th Pennsylvania. Here's their movement. Yeah, that's about what I expected. One, two, three, four. <coughs> initiative, 3 eighths again. Movement, eight this time. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Initiative. It's yours. Activate uh, Anderson again. Here's his movement. It's four. Extended march. It's four. So he's okay. So it's a one. You have uh, three remaining. Oh, okay. indeed. Third Pennsylvania, three Pennsylvania, like to do. Well, I believe for me, 
Let's see, cav retreat is a minus two because I've got a small force. But I get a plus one for the creek. So here is the roll. So it's a three. Um, they are going to get a fatigue and fall back. One, two, three, and four. And you lose one. So I've got two. Mm -hmm. One, two. Initiative. Mine again. Activate Stuart's cavalry. There's their movement. I should have used them. Cradle's calves on my. Stuart is a division leader. So that means he gives a plus two. That's nine. That's an eleven. Roads and rails. Uh, ferry. There we go. In non rain turns. There you go. Non rain turns. A unit may cross a minor ferry hexide at no MP. In rain turns, a unit must pay MP. Okay. Uh, a unit must pay the same MP penalty to cross a major river ferry hexide in rain or non-rain turns. The MP penalty is equal to one-third the active unit's manpower value, dropping fractions. Plus two. Okay, so whatever he is, just a third of that. If he's two, then it's a third of two, which is... Oh, no, he's three, so one. He just pays one extra penalty to cross retreat ferry. Because it's a major river ferry. So... Basically, it's two points to go into twenty-three, twenty-one. Okay. One, four, five, six, seven. That's a roundabout way to get there. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Initiative. <laughs> Yours. Okay. With the same die roll. Sure. Um. Just. Just to point out to you, Stewart's ride around McClellan is a couple, a couple scenarios down the road for us. But yeah. if you want to do it tonight, you <laughs> you do it. You have fun with that. Um, all right. I think. I mean, Sumner will activate the entirety of the Second Corps. Here is their movement. That's four. Uh, Sumner transfer to Sedgwick. Richardson will go one, two, Sumner will go one, two, three. Initiative. It's mine again. Uh, Sumner will attempt an assault on Ripley. Here's the command roll, and it does not come off. Initiative. It's yours. Okay. Activate Armistead. This is movement three. One, two, three. Initiative. It's mine again. So we'll activate Armistead again. This is movement two. One, two. Initiative. It's mine again. Activate Armistead one more time. Here's his movement. It's five. Here's his extended march. It's a six, so he's asked to flip. He's just going to do a menu to there. It's a great string. Uh, so that that just that's what I, kills me, man. That these, so uh, that's five, ten, times one and a half. Yeah, you're going to have 15, yeah. So nothing initiative. like telegraphing exactly what you want to do before the <laughs> initiative goes to your opponent. I love that. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's keep going. Time. Keep going. I'll just see <laughs> you. I'll activate Walker. This is movement. Four. Two. Three. Four. Initiative. Source. Plans have changed. So, uh... New orders come in from Sumner to Sedgwick. We would like him to assault Longstreet directly. We will attempt that. Fatigue level 3, here's command roll. And it does not come off. <laughs> He's a 4. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Initiative. Oof. Okay. Let's really emphatically write those orders to Sumner. <laughs> I need you to act. So here's the command roll. Okay. So it goes off. It works. So now we're going to send to McClellan for a grand assault to bring Richardson in. 
Here's that command roll, and it does. It's it. So, um, okay, so Richardson goes to fatigue level two. They will assault Longstreet and pick it. So, plus one, assault. Uh, it's a minus one tactical. This is a total frontal assault. Uh, it's a plus one ratio. And I've got eight artillery to two in, in rolling. Rolling? So it's a die roll, looks like. Yes, here's a die yeah. roll uh, on... We'll use evens, evens you get it. Evens you, okay. Out. Hey, I got a plus one for artillery. So I'm looking at uh, three up, one down, plus two. Plus two, yeah. Mm. Okay. Here it is, Union on the left. And it is a uh, plus four. Plus four result. I'm into my 16. 15. Doesn't matter, same difference. 2DR. And I am 2FA. So again, we exchange. DR to capital R. Okay. Just killed a thousand men on each side. Good, good for us. Goes to, he's got to go four hexes. One, two, three, four. And that hard one hex is yours. Okay. Uh, Sumner should go in because I need the flank for follow-up stuff, but I know D.H. Hill's going to come in here and get a full flank on me, so it's not worth the headache of giving you the plus four since they're done for the day. So Sumner will just not advance and be really, really cautious. Uh, here is the next initiative. It's yours. So here's his movement. Min two. He gets a min two, which is you can only go one hex to there. It's okay because it uh, blocks the road, puts him behind the creek. So initiative. It's mine again. Slocum is tying up way too many resources here. So AP Hill is going to activate Anderson. Here's his movement. Five. So he's going to do one. He has four left. He's going to launch a prepared assault against Slocum. Ratio on this is a zero. Type is a plus one. Tactical. Is a plus two. Artillery is you have three guns to my two is a minus one on rough terrain. That's correct. Is a die roll. Mm -hmm. so even you get to use it, odd you do not. It's even so you get the artillery. It's a minus one. Creek is a minus one. There's no rain. We're not raining today. The flank, I have all the hexes covered. Your flank's refuse marker takes it down from plus four to a plus two. Correct. So the final appears to be three, five up and two down for a final plus three. So five up, two down. Yep. Final is plus three. Um, Ferret's on the right. And final is a D. Ah, oh, man. He's, I wanted to get him out of Zero, there. yes. What is a zero? 21 and zero is 2D. Five. I was giving serious thought to declaring a force march and flipping him. So oh, yeah. Manpower. Yeah. Is 2D manpower? Because the result would have been the same. Probably would not have lost I lost 1D. I do have the option for... I'm not going to retreat. Like I said, yeah, I'm tying you up. Yeah, um, it's uh, me and, and each other uh, free those guys up. AP Hill is done for the day, so uh, Yule can take a crack at it if he wishes. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Um, initiative. It's mine. Or yours. I should say. Hmm, okay. McDowell will activate McCall. Here's their march. It's a two. So it's one, two. Uh, initiative. It's yours. Go ahead and activate Stuart's two 
brigades here. I, two I plus two, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. It's mine again. I'll activate Walker. His movement is four. One, two, three. And initiative. It's yours. McDowell will activate McCall again. Movement. <laughs> slow, slow, slow. One to another. All right. Boom, boom. Uh, initiative. It's yours again. 59th Virginia. It's five. One, two, three, four, five. Initiative. Yours. Uh, we'll activate Warren. March with two. It's just all twos. Everything is two. Two, two, two. Yeah, so far, yeah. <sighs> One and two. Initiative. It's yours again. 59th Virginia again. Air movement. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Initiative. Yours, the six, so you can do as many as you like. Uh, I will. Um, keys will activate Couch and Casey. And here's their movement. Four. Couch goes there. McClellan goes there. Initiative. It's mine again. Porter activates Sykes. Okay. So here's their movement. Six. Sykes will go one. Two, three, four. Initiative. It's yours. Smith will activate Whiting. This is movement. It's two. One, two. Initiative. It's yours. You can activate as many as you would like with the six. Ricketts will march. And here's his movement. <laughs> This is where it all was turns, he, Roger. All turns. He also, oh, he was. Yeah. He wasn't in McCall. No, yeah, he wasn't. Okay. Now he is, but yeah. He had yeah. to get there first. It's yours. Do Whiting one more time, or Whiting, whatever his name may be. Sorry. It's relative. It's his movement. It's one. Well, it's two. Put him there just in case. I have to fight for that hex. Initiative. It's mine again. Activate the uh, 32nd North Carolina. It says movement. He gets them in two. One, two. Initiative. It's mine again. Same guy. Movement. Four this time. One, two, three. Frog level. Sure enough. Okay. <laughs> initiative. So I like about those maps. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. kind of interesting. Neat stuff. I don't know where that name came from. Did they make any sense? George of the five. All right. Two, two units. Um, King will march. Movement. Four. One. Two. Yeah, that works. Initiative. It's yours. The third Virginia Cav Regiment. Is there a movement? It's an 11. So one, two, three, four. Initiative. Mine again. The 8th Virginia Cav Regiment. Is there a movement? Three. One. Two. Three. Okay. Initiative. It's yours. We'll start moving these cavalry. So, 6th Pennsylvania. We're not paying you to stand still. <laughs> Here's your movement. Ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Initiative five, six, U.S. And here's their movement. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Initiative yours. I'm gonna take you all to fatigue. One. And this is die roll. He's just gonna march in a circle. Yours. All right. 
And that is what I was waiting for. So McDowell will activate King and Ricketts. To fatigue level 2. Here's their march. 5. McDowell transfers to Ricketts. And off they go. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. King. Uh, King goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to half sink. Initiative. It's yours. I'm going to pass. McDowell activates King and Ricketts again. There's their movement. It's two. March Ricketts first. Uh, here's his extended March plus one, of course. Uh, so he'll go one, two. Uh, King, get extended March plus one. He's okay. Um, I'll keep him fresh. Okay, so I'll go to there. Initiative. It's yours. Well, I think now I've got to try with you. Here's his movement roll. It's two. Here's his extended march roll. It's two, so he's fine. So he will do this attack. Um, normal attack. Um, right. So type is a plus zero. Uh, flank is a plus two, because you had the flank fused. Uh, there's no creek on that side, and I get a tactical of plus one. Right. And here's your artillery roll. Uh, even you get to use it, odds you do not. Odds you do not. Okay. So the final is a plus three. That's what I see. Could be a key battle here. Come on, Mr. Yule. Does not do it. Does not get you out of there. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one on 19. I'm just throwing away manpower. Two D. And I'm already D'd out. Yeah, no effect on you. All right. So, um, okay. Unfortunate tax there. Okay, initiative. Yours again. It's time for rickets. Yeah, yeah. Um, it does seem like that's the right thing to do right now. So uh, McDowell has been brought from Washington for a reason to make up for the losses at Bull Run. They're yelling, Bull Run, Bull Run. Um, all right, so he will take Ricketts to four. And... He will attempt an assault on AP Hill's position. Uh, slightly the underdog, so here's the command roll. And it does not go off. Because... Bull run! Bull run! <laughs> <laughs> Initiative. Oh, okay. so he's, he's it's fine. mine again. Uh, so... McDowell will then activate King to fatigue level 4. Uh, here's his movement. It's a four. Here's his extended march. It's a. <laughs> so it's a, well, it's a flip. For it's him, a flip. Sure. It's a flip. So all right. So he just flips disorganized. That's okay. Um, McDowell will transfer to him, and they will go one. That's fine. Uh, damn it! I hate these readouts. I hate them. I hate them, Roger. They're either there. I know, I know. You're like <laughs> your la They're your Alamo, your last stand. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah. We're n even with it. I mean, do you see that minus three? Uh, minus probably minus four with the ratio and the artillery and everything. Uh, and then just even the the flank can't help but break it even. So, um, that's not going to happen today. So there's a reason McClellan was cautious. Initiative. It's yours. Okay. Um, this day, this day could be going better. I could. I got to tell you. <laughs> well, yeah, but. Uh, I mean, you have got a very strong defensive bulwark. Of course, a lot of that is printed on the map here, but uh, that's that's what they're there for. Well, on the center of the line there, that would be good. But uh, my northern flank is in trouble, and I made a mistake. 
letting you get that three eight, let, forcing that three eight Pennsylvania into White Station. Because I lost three shots. I know. I was thinking that was the last thing I was thinking about in <laughs> just a few minutes ago. I was like, "Hey, I've beat his two to one now." All right. Yeah. So because of that, there's no point in worrying about Anderson flipping. So I'm going to increase his fatigue. Fatigue three. Here's his movement to five. Here's his extended march to one. So he's fine. That's going to be one, two. He has three movement points left. So he could launch a normal attack. Gonna take a crack at it. So a normal attack. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. So I'll have one movement point remaining. So the ratio is zero. Mm -hmm. uh, type is zero. Tactical is a plus two. Mm -hmm. Artillery is a minus one. And the flank is, I have all, because you got a river and swamps, all the hexes are covered, but. So you would, it would bring it all the way down to a plus one. Plus one flank. Right. So the final then would be a plus two. Oh, yeah, plus two. Well. That pause means he's considering. <laughs> well, the yeah, best that, I'm going to get is a plus three after right. all that. Right, and if and if you march again, that's going to be plus three. So you're almost absolutely likely to, to flip. Yeah, flip. Not that that matters, but before I looked at this, I thought this was going to be like a plus six. Oh well, plus two. I think I I don't need two, but I see if I wait, I'll throw up a flank refuse marker, and then it's going to be even worse. So yeah, plus two attack, Confederate on the right, Union left. That's plus, plus two. two. Result. Look at that. Which is uh, just what I needed. Just what you needed, as the cards would say. And um, now I have end game things to consider because you're way back there. So, so it's a DR. So it's just a small retreat. Um, so I think you're going to lose two manpower, right? Because you have to retreat in I'm, my direction. I am going to retreat in your direction, but it's going to be by road uh, to 2824. So it should just be one. But you lose one off each unit, right? Oh, yeah. That is correct, sir. Uh, that's not good. That is no bueno. Okay, so um, so the three-eighths is just going to evaporate then. We'll just make that easy. And we'll lose one from the Reese. That was a huge loss. Good job. It's barely worked out. Yeah, just needed one pip. Uh, so they're going to go there and there. I think they will just continue to get out of the way. Um, okay, I lose the manpower as well. Oh, you do? Okay. So uh, so I lose two and you lose one. I go to fatigue, four, and I also become disorganized. But most importantly, I take the White House station, which makes the situation a little less dire. Yeah, well, you got, you got uh, let's see, minus 32 points right now on me. So that's uh, that's pretty good. How do I get to thirty-two? Oh, it's each one of those that? each one of those stations is minus four, and then oh, right now, White yeah, House Station yeah. is minus twenty. So yeah, minus yeah. thirty-two. I figure you'll clean up those stations here. Well, too. yeah, that that is the plan. <laughs> but I gotta I gotta think long term. Two two turns down the road and figure out what I can do with Mister Anderson. All right, give us our next initiative. Initiative. Okay. Sure. So Porter will activate. Morel will march. Here's their movement. <laughs> Why am I playing this game, Roger? Why? <laughs> Why do I roll dice? <sighs> One, two. Initiative. It's mine again. Porter will activate Warren and Morel. Here's their movement. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you say this game, you say Vassal Dice Roller hates you. I... I think it, it seems hates to me. Have, it seems to have, seems to have decided on you tonight. <sighs> yes. All right. So here's watch. Well, watch this. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Morel's extended march plus one. See, it does yeah, hate me. That's... <laughs> All right. Okay. I hear you. Okay. So we're gonna disorganize. They're gonna go to there. Warren's gonna get a plus one to his. 
and his roll is there. He's fine, so he will go to there. And we'll just take those and hold them back. Right, initiative. It's mine again. Heinzelman will activate Hooker. Hooker goes to fatigue level one. Here's his movement. It's three. So they will go one, two, three. Initiative. It's yours. I'm going to pass. The first New York will march. Here's their movement. That's where they're going to go. Initiative. It's yours. I'm going to pass again. Artillery Reserve 1 is going to march. Here's their movement. 1, 2, 3, 4. Initiative. It's mine again. Uh, 8th Illinois will march. Movement. 4. 1, 2, 3. Initiative. Yours. Pass again. Way up here, 4th Pennsylvania marches. Movement. <laughs> they can all do exactly four miles. No more, no less. We got, <laughs> we got quarter horses. One, oh, two, they were up there three, three get themselves up. four. That's right. Um, two, three, four. All right, initiative. <laughs> uh, it's mine again. Stoneman will increase his fatigue. He'll just do a min move there. Initiative. It's mine again. 5-6 US will march. Movement. There you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Initiative. 6 Pennsylvania march. Here's the movement. 7, 1, 2, 3. Initiative. Mine. Wow. Now it's all mine. Late in the game. Mm -hmm. um, Franklin will activate Smith. Here's their movement. Four. One, two, three, four. Initiative. It's yours. Activate branch. Here's his movement. Six. He's just going to fall back Strawberry Hills. Initiative. It's yours. I will pass. I will pass also. Okay. This is a bloody day. Very, very yes. bloody day. Um, Fighting I'm, all over the place, too. I mean, each one of these manpower points is 500 men, so we, we have killed many thousands of people today. Well, I'm up to 14, and you're at 16. Yeah. So, uh, so I've killed 8,000, and you've killed 7,000. So, good job. <laughs> All right, so recovering in the sunshine, um, as much as it pains me, a lot of breastworks being started today. Advancing the turn marker, ooh, May 31st, turn 6. Um, let's see if Shields arrives. Not that it matters now, but he does. Oh, wow. So, does he come in that way at the top of the map? Uh, yeah, the same same spot up there. So, uh, at Golansville... And Horse March. Yeah. More importantly, I get the first Rhode Island Cavalry. Oh, you're um, doing both, eh? Yeah, I do. Cool. Um, okay. Well, that's something, I guess. I got two days to get them down there into play. Well, this turn and one more. Um, go ahead and give us our next random event. Let's see if we get rain today. Okay, here we go. Random event. It's eight. eight. No random, no nothing. Eight. Okay. Eight. And all, all the fords are clear now for major and minor rivers. Okay. And uh, let us do some leader transfers. I think uh, McClellan will move up to Franklin. And uh, Sumner will stay there. Porter will stay there. Keys will stay there. McDowell will stay. Uh, let's see. McDowell's 12 either way. So, uh, yeah. We'll go to there. Transfer over to Ricketts. And Heinzelman will stay where he is. So I think I am done. Long Street's got to stay put. 
the only <laughs> silver lining in that Anderson excursion. I think the will transform the guru over to Anderson. Can't you all stay where he is? Yeah. Stay where he is. I'll transfer Johnson. Let's move him to Magruder. Yeah, I think that's it for me. Okay. Um, well, the all-important first initiative for this turn, turn six. Here goes. And it is mine. All right, well, we've got to seize the initiative with McClellan looking on. So McDowell will activate Ricketts to two and attempt an assault. Yes, we will attempt an assault on T. Anderson. Let's see what happens. So command roll for McDowell, and it proceeds. So plus one assault. Uh, tactical is a wash. Manpower is a wash. Artillery is four to two, so that's a wash. There is no creek. So, it looks like a plus one. Is that what you see? Yeah, it's a plus one. All right, here's a plus one. Union on the left. Oh, oh nice. That'll, that'll do. That's a plus, uh, plus five. five. Yeah. On a 2DR. So it's just an end activation. So that it's brings, us, brings us to parity. It's going to retreat four six hexes. That's going to be... One, two, three, in there, four. Okay. Um, McDowell will take that. So he advances in initiative. It's yours. I'm going to activate Yule. Here's his movement. It's a six. Here's his extended march. It's four, so he's okay. He's going to use four MPs. Launch a prepared assault against Slocum for the third time. So he gets a type of plus one. What he show is a wash. Uh, flank is a plus. Plus two. I've got the uh, flanks refused. Oh, flanks refused. Plus two. Great. Right. And plus one tactical. Plus one tack. And artillery is a make a roll. Die roll. Yeah. Okay. No, no artillery. No artillery. So the final is a plus four. four. Yep. Plus four. Here we go. Mm. Turn the favor. Wow. We are cavalier today. So plus seven uh, on eleven. For me is 2DR, so yeah, yeah, take that right back. And um, let's take two manpower losses. And one, two, three, and a demoralize. And he will go then one, two, three, four. He'll stay there. So I get an advance. Plus seven on there, yeah, there's no added fatigues. I still had two left. So, yeah, so I'm going to go one, two, initiative, yours. Franklin will activate Smith. Here's their movement. It's two. Man. Always one less than what I need. It's just uncanny. So we'll force march. Flip it. And here's their force march roll. So it's a two, so they'll lose just a manpower. And they will. He gets four, right? Total gets four minutes. total, yeah. So one, two, three. Initiative. It's mine again. McDowell will activate King to two. Here's the movement. It's two. Rolls extended march plus one. He's okay. He will f go to there. 
Yeah, I think I will have McDowell go over there with him. Uh, initiative. It's yours. I have to make wise. Four. Yeah. Okay. Initiative. It's mine again. Connects. Do it. It's going to activate as two cavalry units. Is there a movement? I'm just going to go one. Join Anderson there. Okay. Initiative. It's yours. McDowell will activate King. They're going to march. So here's your movement. Five. Here's their extended march of plus two now. They're okay. So they will just, uh, they will slide it back into Sinland there on the railroad initiative. It's yours. I'm going to attempt an assault with Anderson against uh, King AP Hill. Here's his assault roll. It's a one. So that comes off. So we have a ratio of zero. Uh, we have a type plus one. Tacticals plus one. Artillery. So a die roll. Even you get it? Uh, you do not. It's odd. So artillery is a zero. Flank is a plus two. And finally, there's a creek for a minus one. So that's four up and one down for a final plus three. Sounds good. Okay, that's spell final. And the result is a plus one result. And 12 is a 1D for you. And a 1D uh, for you. 13 is a 1D for me. All right. Could have used a little better die roller. I have a voluntary retreat option here. Oh, so, you do, yes. Let's see. I could really knock on the door of Richmond. And can you go two to four hexes? Is that I, right? I can go one to four. A one to four? Yeah. <laughs> You won't knock on the ring at all. Well, I can't, I can't go into an enemy zone of control, but I could go... Oh, to I, Auburn College? I could go to the the reservoir. One, two... Let's see, one, two... Yeah, because as long as I stay out of an enemy zone of control, I can basically go anywhere along any path. So one, two, three, and four. I could go to the reservoir and then just... Give Longstreet something to think about, but then Wise would sneak up. Yule would sneak up. So I think I will just... Uh, it was a tough spot. So I think uh, I think we'll just stand where we are for now. Better to hold the objective hex. To yes, roll. Yeah, yeah. My okay, yours again. Double sixes. Let's bring up the 32 North Carolina. Something of a speed bump at best. Um, two... So, initiative choice. Yes, we will. Uh, we will activate McCall. There's the march. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I even bother. Um, <laughs> it's mine again because I am a glutton for punishment. Uh, McCall again. Here's their march. <laughs> One, two, initiative. It's yours. Activate like the uh, 59th Virginia. Just their movement. It's five. One, two, three, four to there. Initiative. It's yours. It's a six, so you can do as many as you like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's do a call again. Here's the march. Uh, wow, that's brutal. That's two so, ones and a two? Yeah, yeah. Um, and here's their extended march. Okay, well, at least they, they claim at least station, which I didn't even need, but it's, it's mine. Okay, initiative. Yeah. It's yours. Okay. Um, I'm going to pass. 
Porter will activate Warren and Morrell. There's their movement. <sighs> Cheesy crazy, man. Alright, uh, minimum of two, so Warren to there, and Porter to there. Initiative. Yours. Pass again. Uh, we will attempt to move shields. So here's their march. Four. One, two, three, four. Initiative. Shields again. Movement. Two. One, two. Um, yeah. Initiative. Mine again. Shields for a third. Movement. Two. Extended march plus one. Of course. <laughs> Wow. Well, I know, right? It's it's a sight to behold. Uh, well, it's amazing. I mean, how many movement rules, and suddenly the one time you do an extended march. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, oh, yeah. It, 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 it's, it, you're right. It, it knows what we want in our hearts, and then it says, nay. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's your, it, <laughs> is, your, it is your initiative. Um, yeah, I'm going to pass again. Artillery reserve. One will march. Here's their movement. <laughs> uh, we will put them with Sumner. Initiative. It's mine again. I will pass. I will, I will pass as well. Because this is excruciatingly <laughs> <laughs> just everything is going wrong. All right. Uh, so we will recover in the sunshine. And breastworks are being constructed as we speak. Uh, everyone is on the map now, so there's no need for any rolling. We go to the final turn. We might actually finish this tonight. Um, yeah, I think we're in good shape. We're yeah. Down. Well, yeah, let's let us do our uh, last turn uh, victory point calculation here. I've got so I've got ten points for train stations, as you pointed out. I currently hold uh, six points in readouts, so that's 16. Um, potentially, I will take back Tunstall Station. So, uh, oh, and I've got uh, eight points for Chaffin's Bluff. So, 24 points for those. Um, but I'm down two points on manpower losses, so that's 22. And then the big one, I'm down 24. So right now, it's sitting at negative two. Um, but as you point out, a big swing potentially if I can if I can take back White Station and Tunstall Station, that brings me at least back to uh, two or twenty-two, and um, and that's that's a marginal victory, right? Right. But it all depends on is it going to rain today? So um, I could use some rain. Today. I'm, I It'd know be a you nice could. day for <laughs> it, it's a nice day for a shower here in uh, central Virginia in the Tidewater. So I will do that, and this may or may not seal my fate. So here is our random event for the final turn. Oops, that's one, and the other. So six is no effect. No effect. All right. Okay. So no rain. Um, leader transfers. Uh, Sumner will move down to Richardson. Porter will stay where he is. Um, McDowell will... He will stay where he is. Franklin will stay where he is. And Heinzman there. So, yeah, I'm good. And Johnston to Ewell. Bruder. Bruder to Cobb. Longstreet, of course, has to stay where he is. All right. Well, whenever you are ready, you can give us the first initiative last turn. There you Okay, here we go. Initiative. It's yours. All right. We got to seize the initiative here. So Franklin will attempt an assault with Smith on AP Hill. Here's the command roll. It goes off. Plus one for assault. Minus one for tactical. Our ratios are awash. Uh, and I think it's a minus one for... Oh. Sitting here running these numbers, I should write them down. Plus one assault, minus one tack. Uh, I think I'll just, it'll be a plus one. Yeah, that's what I have. I hate to do it, but this is... All right, Union on the left, plus one. 
There it is. Minus one. I'm minus one. <sighs> Why have I never learned this late in the game? Do not attack. Because I'm so... <sighs> okay. Alright, so 18 at a minus one is 1D. 1 18 for me, it looks like. No, I'm it's 12. Fa two fatigues, yeah. So two fatigues. At least helps a little bit shutting him down. Um, so... One, two, three, done for the game. He flips, and he loses manpower. And I take a little manpower loss. So I am now at 20. And you are at eight, at 17, so you're winning by th three on the manpower. Um, and of course, you do have the option for a voluntary retreat, should you wish to take it. Oh, he's going to stay there. Yeah, I figured. Um, initiative. It's mine again. Porter activates Warren and Morell. There's their movement. Three. So, uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Take back. Uh, initiative. Yours? Can activate Long Street. Forget. Where's their movement? Six. One, two, three, four. There's two movement points remaining. So he's going to launch a normal attack on King and Miguel. So ratio is a zero. Type is a zero. Tactical is a plus one. Here's the artillery. Even you use it, odd, you do not. It's odd. So artillery is a zero. Uh, the flank is a plus four. So the final result is a plus five. I don't think you have any negatives, so yeah, sounds sounds about right. Okay, a plus five. Result is a plus five result. So I've got twelve. So it's three. Yeah, I, th I think we're we're closing the door here pretty quick. Um, 12 for me is an end action. Man. So, one to there, no problem. Two to there. Three to there. Four to there. Okay. It's not getting any better. Initiative. It's mine again. Uh, I'll activate you. This is movement five. Initiative. It's mine again. I'm going to pass. Okay. McDowell will activate McCall. And here's the movement. It's a five. McDowell transfers. One, two, three, four. Five initiative yours. I'm going to pass again. Okay. McDowell takes McCall to two. Here's their movement. Five. Uh, extended march plus one. It's okay. One, two. Yeah, he'll make a normal attack on wise. Uh, so plus zero normal. Um, plus two tack, plus five ratio. Uh, I'm at, uh... Oh, the readout, of course, yeah. Readout. So you're at f uh, three and one, is so five, essentially. So, yeah. yeah, so, uh, so three to one, so plus two ratio. And you've got three pieces of artillery. I've got four. You're in rough. So here's the artillery roll. Yeah, yeah. Here is the artillery roll. <laughs> and artillery is used. Of course it is. So minus one, RD. Yeah, this is going to go south real fast. Um, but I got to believe. Oh, and minus one for the... Four up, two down. Four up and two down. So plus two. Not even going to think about it, just going to roll it. Plus two. Yep. 
So plus one is the result, and I believe um, I'm going to make an attempt on White Station, but I think I have closed the door too hard on manpower losses to overcome it. But I will give it a shot. You've been doing you for manpower. So plus one on 18 is a 1D. So cool. keeps going, gets better and better. Boop, boop. Just not my not my scenario tonight on initiative. Of, it's yours. I'm gonna pass. Yep. That, I just that assume is, passing. That is, yeah, want. that is that <laughs> is the the smart thing to do. You have no reason to to do that. So um, Porter will activate Warren and Morell to two. Here's their movement. Five. Warren will just go there. Porter will join him to there. And initiative. Presuming pass again. Um, yeah. And, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I mean, it doesn't make sense to try to spoil attack because no, probably... exactly because it's it's already going to go horribly for me anyway. So, <laughs> um, so Porter will make an attempt on White House Station with both of his divisions. Here is their command roll, and uh, one of them can go in. So, uh, so that will be Morell. And Morel is, is the one. So we've got plus one assault. So I've got a plus one tactical, which I can't believe I'm saying about Stuart. Ratios covered. Artillery is four pieces to three pieces. So it's a minus one because you're enrolling. The flank is five, but it's going to get all the way reduced down to nothing. So there's nothing there. Yep. That's all I see is just a plus one. What do you see? Uh, two up and one down, yeah. That is, that is what I got. So here we go. Plus one, Union on the left. Plus one, because why not make it a heartbreaker? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Right, so I'll just 13. dig that hole a little deeper. 15 at 1D. Um, I lose 1D as well. So, boom. Organized and yeah, lose manpower, and I will give you another manpower loss. And I'm gonna. I lost. I lost the manpower as well. With really? Yeah, I had a. Uh, I had thirteen. Get out. Okay. Well, wow. but I still did not force you out. So um, that was my last best hope of getting that swing back. So I am gonna throw in the white towel here. And we will call this, uh, let, let us go through the numbers officially as we end scenario number three here tonight. First of all, well, we'll do the numbers and then, and then we will have our final thoughts as always. Uh, so if I'm seeing this correctly, I've got the 10 points because I can capture railroad stations like nobody's business. Um, I have plus four for readouts near... I've got plus eight for Chaffin, so that's plus eight. So that is 22. Um, I've got 25 manpower losses to your 18, so that's a minus seven for that, and a minus 20. So it looks like it is a negative five. Negative five, it's negative 27 to 22, so negative five, which I believe, a Confederate decisive. decisive. You have you have stymied the young Napoleon. That's the first time I've gotten anything better than a marginal. Well, you know, <laughs> it, uh, it it pays to have a, uh, a very timid commander on the other side who makes yeah, it, bad it, attacks. It really, um, yeah, it really hurt you tonight. You're, and just... It started strong there in turn two. You know, I pushed you all the way back out of Fair Oaks and Seven Pines, and it seemed hopeful. But as soon as I failed to, well, we had the rain right in the middle. Yeah. And um, that's kind of neutral, but it also prevented me from, I probably would have been more cavalier on turn four if, uh, if the rain had not occurred. Um, also... You know, the slow the slow movement rolls is just you know, there's nothing you, know, you can do about that yeah so it yeah, is what it is what it is that um, gave me plenty of time oh yeah to 
every time okay. you'd see what I was going to do, you'd react, and then you'd get the string, and yeah. Um, I was able to hammer poor uh, Kearney to death down there, too. You did. Um, so here here are my big mistakes that I, I've kind of mentally taken track of, and by all means, please, folks out there watching this, uh, as you're sitting there with your salty snack treats and watching this uh, this devastation for the Union, please feel free to comment. Um, it all turned completely when <laughs> I failed to see J.R. Anderson way back over there. Um, I don't know if it was the gray of uh, just, I, I think, well, it was because we had stopped the other night. And when I moved Sedgwick up, I completely didn't see him. I mean, oh. the gray just the it was just my eyesight and I just I it blended in and then after I moved them and then you went I'm gonna activate Anderson and I saw him I was like ah of course he was there the whole time he's just that wonderful butternut <laughs> I missed it I missed it so that was a huge fumble um, because I went and just let you have all those and now I've got to spend half the game reacting to that so huge, huge uh, error on my part. The rest of it, I mean, it, you make attacks when you can. You try to avoid the bad attacks. I didn't think the attacks I was making were necessarily bad. I had some great flanks, but against those readouts. You know, that eastern line there with, with you know, from Chickahominy all the way down, once you built that line, I was there was no breaching that. There was no flanking it. There was no going aware, around it. You had so much piled up on those readouts that I wasn't just going to do a frontal assault. And maybe that's what you need to do. I mean, we'll see next week when you try. Um, maybe that's it. You just have to throw bodies at it and see if you can breach. But, um, yeah, my early I got, my early attempt got, to try to get that flank was just was lost. I got real lucky with some initiatives in there. Very lucky. Oh, boy, howdy. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, at one point you had seven or eight in a row, I, and I said, you know. Because my, my concern starting this evening was I, for all the excitement of beating up on uh, Karin, uh I'd left a hole there, and uh, my initiative saved me. Well, I think, um, yeah. I mean, well, you got lucky with the rain there because that, that the was. The, well, the, <laughs> and the, rain. the plan was either. Um, the plan was either to eliminate the bridge, which would have had short-term benefit or to get somebody there and try to throw my own bridge over at that point and see if I could get mm. a big flank around there. But uh, yeah, just having huge air there just to sit and check any of that South uh, flank attempts was, was great. He didn't have to do anything because Heinzelman was just not, I didn't want to give up and move and then have you take the eight points away. Uh, everywhere I set things up, you just managed to shuttle people in there because you got the internal line, and you just got yeah. people there yeah. in just the right amount of time to to blunt it. So that was great. Yeah, yeah, this was definitely. There were so many times going, I gotta get this initiative, and I got it. And I'm like, yeah, Ugh. yeah. Um, I was <laughs> and, afraid there. The briefly, you know, the reason yeah, I heard you say out loud, "Why aren't you doing anything with Franklin?" Because I. I was afraid of moving Franklin over to support, and then here comes Magruder with Cobb and Kershaw, you know, north of the Chickahominy. Now they're either coming at my flank and turning that, or they're going and getting all the stations back. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. That was, um, this is a tricky scenario. I mean, it's, it's definitely a lot of... I, I, maybe it is frontal assaults. I don't know. I just, well, for, for me, I, I hate it, doing that. <laughs> I just keep going back to why I like this series. It makes me appreciate McClellan. I mean, this is, he got what he wanted, McDowell, and it didn't really help. It still was a bloodbath, which he didn't want to have. It was. It was. So you meant, I mean, just having the simple, like, wise. Wise was worth so much more than cause, just because he could set up the pin on the flank. And, um, you know, those readouts are useless to the Union <laughs> player. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's probably not right. I mean, they certainly, well, it was good for me, and it'll be bad for me next week. I thought we were going to have combat going into this. I, I figured 
there was going to have to be just a lot of combat. Yeah, when we when we look at the devastation, I mean, again, I I managed 25 manpower losses, so that is almost 13,000 men, and you got 18, so that's 9,000 men. Um, that's a huge toll. I mean, unbelievable amount of casualties for both of us just throwing throwing these units back and forth at each other. So it should give an appreciation of how significant the culmination, I think, of the Peninsula campaign was. I I will certainly Monday morning quarterback this all week and try to figure out where I can prevent things from happening next week when we swap. So um, it will be, uh, yeah, really. 20,000 20, and 15,000 respectively. So we did okay. Yeah, yeah, perhaps a little more conservative. Uh, uh, yeah, this was a... I just needed I, a I, few I, more things to go my way. Yeah. At the same time, you did some great, just little tactical things. You know, Anderson being the biggest one, that was that was the game winner, ultimately, because I just let him let him march around to the rear. Um, I figured at some point you were going to go after Stuart, because I kind of parked him back there. Well, I didn't like, know what you get... were setting up for. I mean, you're like, I'm just going to put him back here. And you know, we mentioned in the previous recording, uh, well, you know, he, he can't capture anything. And so I was like, I don't I don't know what he's doing other than setting up a potential flank on things, which I figured was that. But I thought, surely he's not going to march all the way through Henrico County and, <laughs> and try to get all that stuff. And, and there he went. Because I just, I overlooked it. That was a huge, I muffed it. Yeah, I, but I won't do that again. <laughs> you know, I've got to think about what I'm going to try. Cause, right. uh, but uh, this I is this is great. Um, it's going to take a few more plays of this one for me to really appreciate the, how, to, how to solve the problem that is this secondary defense line with the readouts. Because having 1.5 on some of these basic units, that's you know, that turns a 10 into a 15. It makes a big difference. Oh, yeah. And you said it's hard to get a flank. I mean, when, Without surrendering they, a flank. You yeah, know, surrendering a flank, yeah, because yeah, the interior lines, you can, I could whip guys over. And, yep, but this was not my finest hour, but still a lot of fun to play. Um, if you didn't knock me out of the White House, we'd be still be playing. <laughs> that's true, that's true, cause, yeah. Because then, then it comes desperation time for more. Right, but uh, I I can always tell in these scenarios when I'm digging a hole, you know, whenever I make an attack and it just and it goes. That's why I tend to let you attack more, because short of you setting up the really good surprise flanks on me like you, you did with with Carney and some of the others on turn four, um. You know, surely he's not going to attack me in the rain, and then you get a full flank out in the open field. I'm like, well, he deserved it. <laughs> so, um, but every time I do that, you know, that's when the dice gods go, ha ha, not today. Yeah. So, yeah. I just hate losing a battle because of giving up the points. You know, I'd rather mm. I'd rather you attack and just beat me. And somebody actually just brought up in uh, the online. You know, I think on the Facebook group, hey, has anyone ever had a discussion about the combat results table? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have we ever? <laughs> so, I, don't, I can't imagine there's any game that has a combat results table right. where people aren't redoing it. Yeah. Better. Yeah. And it's, uh, I mean, this one, it, it rewards risk, but it punishes you so severely for the slightest misstep. I mean, even coming at par on the dice is horrible yeah so i'd rather you risk it than me but sometimes you just gotta you gotta take the risk and tonight the risk was just i'm looking at this whole list of all of our combats and it's like two four six eight ten twelve fourteen at least twenty combats um some of them i didn't even write down because you were you know you were doing it but um very well, took me very bloody three or four attempts to get sold on that spot. It's like, those are, I don't think any of those are bad attacks. No, no, right. I mean, I, I think you and I have become 
fairly conservative, and on this one even more so, because I was getting in the mindset of McClellan. It's like, well, you know, he'd spend three weeks bringing artillery pieces up, thinking that's going to win because he's got the engineer's mindset against these readouts, and I'm not even. I'm not even that cavalier. I'm going, no, I'm just not going to... I've seen that column. You know, the 20, 27 to 37 column. No, thank you. Oh, so, yeah, that's something I hadn't really been looking at. And right. I was... Oh. If this scenario proved nothing to anybody watching this um, or to educate you, and it certainly was an eye-opener to me because, again, this is the probably the, the largest big set piece mini campaign that we've done, is that Sometimes a full flank plus four is absolutely meaningless for two reasons. <laughs> One, it's against readouts and it becomes down to plus two. But sometimes when you've just got so many men taking part in the battle that that plus four just, you know, Doesn't does help. not offset, right? Yeah, you're still going to lose some manpower. So, but uh, as always, a pleasure. I hope you all yeah. have enjoyed watching this uh, bloodbath here. <laughs> on the Chickahominy. Um, as always, we encourage you to like and subscribe to this little channel of mine, and, uh, you know, we're having a blast doing this, and we're going to be doing this for a while, I suspect. So if you've got comments, let us hear them, and uh, tell your friends about it. Yeah, we could certainly use uh, some more viewers. So if you know somebody that's interested in the Civil War, this is probably a good channel for them. Yeah. Uh, closing thoughts for the evening, Roger. Looking forward to, uh, if we're going to do this on Friday, I'm looking yeah. forward to Friday or whenever we do it, yep. and um, hope you have a good week. I hope you do too, sir, and uh, congratulations on a very good victory. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome, and I will you see well you all... You too, I think. Oh, well, thank you very much. Um, uh, I will see you all next time. Have a good take one. Take care, Internet. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>